Annie Jacques is the uh, exhibition interpretation officer for the Museum of Science and Technology, which was shut down for a little while, but reopening this Friday, correct? Exactly, we've been closed for three years, unfortunately due to a mold incident. Okay, so yeah, yes. so you decided once you found the mold that the whole Unfortunately, shut, shut yes, down. the site wasn't safe for our employees and for our visitors. And so we closed down the museum and luckily got financing to rebuild, reinvent, reimagine the new science and technology museum. So we've been little busy bees for the past mm -hmm, three years mm -hmm. trying to figure out what those new offerings, what those new experiences will be for our right. visitors. So you took that opportunity to sort of rebuild in terms of ideas as well for the museum? Exactly. So the only two things that we've actually kept from the old museum are the locomotives. They were just too big to move. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and of course they were really popular. They're, yeah, they're a huge right? guy. Anyway. And the famous and crazy, the crazy kitchen. kitchen. That's been there forever. It's been there since 1967, so it's really wow. wild and crazy. Has it's, that ever been updated? Do you know? It's been updated a little bit, but the interior has always remained the same. So we opened the crazy kitchen November 17th, 1967, and we're reopening 50 years later on that exact same date. Really? It's a little wild and crazy. Yes, yes. Was that by design? <laughs> it's by, by choice and also by looking at the time frame that we had to okay. reopen the museum. So those are the two only experiences we're bringing back. Everything else is new. And so what, what can people expect? Yeah, so the go? experience actually starts as you park your vehicle. You get into the museum and there's this large LED screen, almost like a huge projection onto the facade of the museum. You get in, there's 11 new exhibitions. Each exhibition has new artifacts, um, amazing interactives, hands on, bodies on, minds on, senses on. Because it's always been that way. It's, it's always, always been, been that way. Because yeah. in a way we're a museum, but there's also a sense of a science center feel to our, our museum. So we've yes. kind of combined both recipes, right. both methods, right. into a very unique offering in our national capital region. So your grand opening is this co coming up soon? Yes, yeah, so on so, Friday. So what can people expect when, when they go? I know that you've got a huge... Yes. You're I think the Science and Technology <laughs> Museum has always been geared towards families, but kids specifically who are in awe yes. of science. So certainly intergenerational groups, we try to do stuff for the 2- to 92-year-olds, but we have something really special in the new museum, is we have a gallery called Zoom. And Zoom is our children's innovation mm -hmm. space. And one of the featured experiences, this is just a little sample, a little part of it, um, is a car building station. So you get to assemble your little vehicles, and then slide them through down a ramp. Uh, and the idea is that children get to um, participate in that innovation process. They imagine something, they build it, they test it out, and you know what, sometimes they'll fail, and that's perfectly fine, because mm -hmm. failing is part of that innovation process. Yeah. They analyze their creation, and then they, they, they rebuild, they retest, and they go through that cycle of innovation. Um, and so Zoom is all about having fun with science and technology. <sighs> I can see. So how did you test out this whole, <laughs> whose kids were brought in to test out the, 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 that's new. actually my child, little boy <laughs> right there. So of course we use staff's children. It's a very difficult process because usually we will test with visitors. We ask visitors yes. to help us out and yes. test. Yes. But as we were closed, uh, we went to our sister museums, the Canada Agriculture Museum, the Canada yes. Aviation Museum. Uh, we took weekends and, and traveled to Montreal where we were building most of these modules and we brought our kids and tested a whole bunch of different things. What else can we find there? That's new. So many exciting things. We have a great maker space where children get to um, build different things, um, make different elements, different technological gadgets and, and so forth, and experiment with technology. Um, we have a beautiful area called Artifact Alley. You can just imagine over 700 artifacts lit up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. We call it the brain candy or the, the, the eye candy of um, A of lot the of museum. school field trips. Oh yes, that to we that can, museum, yes, right? Yes, of course. So what is your role as the 
exhibition. Exhibition, <laughs> exhibition <laughs> interpretation <laughs> officer. Yeah, I'm part of more of the creative team. So we try to think of really fun, engaging experiences for our audience. So for instance, if we look at these little cars, we really want to do something with innovation. And we thought, well, building cars, children love to build and to manipulate materials. So exactly, we try to get children to build the longest car, the highest car, and they test them through different ramps. Oh, and I what know. I love is adults oh. look for the instructions, right? They're yes. like, what is the way <laughs> well, to do this? Some of us do. Some of us do. <laughs> well, the ch children, it's intuitive. Oh. They grab the materials and they just start making things. And just like a scientist would, right? A scientist tries to understand their world. So they look around themselves, they look at different clues to try to understand the world around yep. them. Children do the same thing. And so this gallery, the children's gallery, is really all about that. And so what's great is adults actually see their children this all as many started, scientists. This all started with Legos. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this same all idea. started with Legos. Okay, I can't find another wheel. And so what's one. really fun is today, of course, I couldn't r displace the ramps to test this out. Yes. But in the museum, there's this wild ramp where there's a big jump with a huge hoop. And so if you built your car properly, it'll go down the ramp and it will actually jump through the hoop. So the kids love this space. It's super popular and we haven't even opened yet. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. It's a pleasure. This is awesome. Okay, Annie Jacques, the Exhibition Interpretation Officer at the Museum of science and technology we all gotta make our way down there because it's been so long three years it's been closed so we gotta make it back there all right coming up next Michael McNaught was in in the Dragon's Den we're gonna find about that out about that next